So we're only a few hours away from the release of Borderlands 3. And as a new Borderlands player, it's going to be pretty much one the first Borderlands game I've played. Uh, I've played a little bit of Borderlands 2. I cannot help but anticipate or just be a little anxious about what to expect because I don't know what to expect. Um, I've gotten Borderlands 3 recommendation from a lot of the folks on my Discord server. And after many, many refunds, I think I refunded this game three times <laughs> and, and pre-ordered and refunded and pre-ordered and refunded uh, multiple times. I finally caved because some of my really core, uh, you know, community are going to be playing this game. I mean, you guys know yourselves, man. Uh, you know, Jim, you're going to be playing, uh, Shay, you're playing, I'm going to mention your names, Ensign, you're playing, um, I think Opora, you're playing, so about four of you, four of these guys, uh, they've, they've constantly, uh, you know, run the division with me, and it's just kind of difficult to not, you know, put myself in, in a situation where I'll be able to play a game that's active with them, especially on launch, which is usually when they'll have time to do some of their grinding and some of their, you know, uh, you know, crazy, um, you know, in-depth dive into the game. And so I'm somewhat excited, uh, I think. I don't know, you know, because this game has been uh, surrounded with a lot of controversy. I'm not, you know, I'm not a Steam loyalist. If you look at my library, I've been downloading all of Epic's free games. I haven't bought Metro Exodus here, which, you know, was a game that I wanted to play. And if Steam wants to compete against Epic, they know exactly what to do. All they need to do is reduce their... Uh, the share of their profits with the or the sales share uh, from 30 percent to even 15 percent. I think if they did 15 percent, um, I think they if they even did 20 percent, they'll be competitive enough to take on Epic Games. Uh, but, they, you know, it's it's all what big businesses are about. Anyways, I, I don't feel sorry for a company that's got two point five billion dollar market share. They know exactly what they're doing. And so that that fight is going to be between them. And, you know, we exist as gamers and when we want to play a game, when we sense or perceive that a game might be fun or might meet our interests, we're going to go play it wherever we find it. As crazy as that sounds. And exclusivity is not something that I'm a fan of, but it exists. I'm a console player. It ex it's always been existing on the platforms for a while, but I'm not a I'm not, I'm not an Epic Games apologist. If anything, I'm really, really not a big fan of the way they're carrying out their business model. But it still comes down to, um, you know, a lot of the other things, you know, the YouTuber that got his channel, you know, pretty much deleted all these things. And in the face of this, you know, playing this game, is, you know, there's a little bit of that anxiety and all that stuff, but I'm just a community person. I really enjoy a community of gamers and, you know, having had a lot of my friends just say, hey, you got to play this game. And even reading comments back and forth on the Game Me Daddy channel saying, hey, man, I hope you come, you know, to Borderlands 3 have just pretty much added up to saying, OK, we're adding this to our library in, in conjunction with and including uh, the Division 2, which is going to be, you know, October type deal because the updates and the patches aren't coming anytime soon. Uh, and then Ghost Recon Breakpoint. So I don't I don't know. I don't know what, you know, to expect. I mean, you guys that have played Borderlands for a while, I've played only like maybe an hour or two hours of Borderlands 2. So you guys that have played Borderlands for a while, uh, I just I'm making this video because I really want to hear, you know, what you guys actually think. Um, and for those of you, if you were talking to somebody who's new at Borderlands, what would you tell them to expect? Um, now, I'm not I'm not, you know, ignorant to even some of the uh, concerns about the reviews and the review score not being, you know, as high as necessary, even though some of the reviewers that, you know, were selected were very, uh, in a sense, handpicked. Um, some people have not been able to receive reviews. And I don't know why the publisher or developer, I don't know who makes that decision, is making the decision to make it a very limited ecosystem uh, for how the game is reviewed and how the game is put out there. There are concerns that the game might be broken, but hey, what's the worst that can happen? We've been playing the division since the division one. If there's anything called broken, we've seen broken on many, many levels. And so if that's the deterrent, then that might not be the deterrent enough. But it's sad, though, that we'll be anticipating uh, these things in games today. I guess this just speaks to the state of video gaming today. It's become a cutthroat business. Um, it's become something that 
you know, it's just very difficult to reconcile a lot of the issues all together and still find a way to come out with your soul. And so I'm going to be, you know, you know, God willing, I'm going to be playing this game. Um, and I just wanted for you guys to just give some input as to what I need to expect and what I need to be looking forward to. Um, somebody that's coming into this genre and, you know, not really a big uh, first person shooter um, type, you know, player in my case, but I have played Metro and I enjoyed it. So if there's a good quality first person shooter, Far Cry, I've played um, some of the Far Cry's, well, one and a little bit of uh, all the others. Um, I will play it. So that's what I think I'm looking forward to more than anything, which is just learning, uh, walking a new uh, journey with the community, especially a community where everyone is going to be a veteran. I'm going to be the new guy and I'm going to be making videos, telling the veterans what to do. It's a little uh, anxiety behind that, but I guess that's just part of the journey as being a content creator and being a gamer at the same time. Anyways, that's all I wanted to just put out there for you guys. Um, please do respond in the comment section. Uh, I want to engage you guys in conversation and just things that I need to look out for and things that you would like to see uh, as an audience yourself. That's all I have for today. Thank you so much for your time and audience. Thank you for almost 17,000 subs. Thank you for those of you who jumped on my second channel to subscribe and to support me on that venture because of the way the YouTube's algorithm is. Um, you know, I've been, I've been trying to diversify. That's how you diversify these days. <laughs> if you put all you, you can put all your eggs in one basket, but YouTube is not a basket. It's more like a, <laughs> I don't know what to call it, <laughs> but that's all I have anyways. See you soon. Peace.